The air is supposed to enter into your motor through the carburetors where it mixes with fuel and that allows the motor to run the way that it's supposed to. Once in a while we will wind up with a leak, a vacuum leak, where air enters someplace where it's not supposed to and when it does that it doesn't pick up gasoline and the motor runs poorly. Traditionally, when a mechanic was looking for a vacuum leak, he would get a can of either aerosol, carburetor cleaner, or starter fluid, and with the motor idling, he would spray the areas where he suspected he might have a leak. By doing that, if there were a leak, the motor would ingest a little bit of this product, and the DRPMs would change, and he'd know he had the right spot. The problem is that in recent years, a lot of these products have been reformulated, and they often don't work as well as they used to. Something that does work very well, which you probably have right in your own home, is propane. What they'll do is, again, with the motor idling, you turn the propane tank on so she's just wisping a little bit of propane out the end. Okay, don't ignite it. And then do the same thing in the areas, for example, where the gasket is between the carburetor and the manifold, between the manifold and the head, where the throttle linkage goes through to the throttle plate, vacuum hoses. Test all those things. If there's a vacuum leak, the motor will ingest a little bit of the propane, and you'll know you've found your leak.